Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I have once again taken a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos and if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today we are looking at the Lil Orby which is this thing right here. A defensive orb for you to spawn it in and place in a strategic place and it will shut down any enemies that have tried to fly past it. It does have thrusters on it so you can fly it around and put it into position if you need it in a specific area or you could retrofit the inside and turn it into a little station if you wanted to do that. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This Defence ship thingy mob is 1260 large blocks. It uses no mods and it uses no DLC blocks, but as it says in the description, it does use textures from the DLC pack. So if you were to take damage and lose a block and needed to put in a replacement block, you will not have that rusted effect. And that does add a lot of detail to this ship. So let's start by going around the outside. They will give it a fly around, I guess and we'll blast the red ship and the starting station. So at the very front here we got ourselves a passage which will lead all the way to the inside of the ship. We've got two doors in there as an airlock but I've left them open like a plonker. Surrounding this passage we've got some thrusters in even more passages and this is how we're going to fly around. We've only got ion thrusters on this so we can only use it in space but we could use this to deny enemies from getting closer to your space station if you wanted to do so. We've got a multitude of guns on this thing. Most of them are turrets apart from those four rocket launchers you see at the front there. So we've got Gatling turrets, we've got rocket turrets and we've got interior turrets just to blast everything coming by. The Gatling turrets and the rocket turrets are to deter large ships and the interior turrets are to shoot away any oncoming missiles. Now if you were to take damage this thing has been built to take quite a beating so it'll be a very long time before this thing actually gets disabled. If I move around the side here, we're going to see a lot of repetition with the turrets. There is our interior turrets that sit on the little corner blocks, all nice and neatly hidden away. Then coming around to here, we've got our rocket launchers and some more passages with thrusters inside them. If I come all the way around to the back, I might need to bring the sun around. So it's a little bit dark here. We do have a connector, so if you wanted to, you could connect up a small ship onto this, refuel this with ammunition, rockets and ice and then be on your way. Or you could just strap this onto your ship and use it as a battering ram and just have it blast anything that you're flying towards. Coming down and underneath the little orby, we've got some more Gatling turrets and once again some more iron thrusters inside some passages. Just come around and up to the top and then see a few more little turrets on there and some more iron thrusters. If I also take control of my character and head on inside, this is what we get. So in this little passageway right here, we get ourselves a, a double door, a nice little airlock. Make sure you don't lose any of your precious oxygen. Now on the inside, we're instantly greeted by quite a drop. Well, we've got some batteries going around the room. We've got some cargo containers. We've got some O2H2 generators. We've got ourselves a cockpit all the way up there. And we've got some gyroscopes. It's pretty bare boned in here, but that is all you need because, like I said, it's more of a defense turret, a defense station, than it is a ship. The ship is purely there to move it around and get it into position. But if you want to, like I said earlier, you could just clear out this inside here, maybe even put in a few DLC catwalks like so, and then start to build a little bit of a interior inside it. So we could go like that all the way across, maybe put some more stuff in there like so, then we could walk around up here, we could put a few more things in there, we could even put some stairs in here if we wanted to, like so, that'll give us a nice easy way to access that cockpit, we would need to have another catwalk there to stop us from dropping down and dying, i just come like that, there we go, and then we could have some stairs that go all the way down into there, so if I just flip that around, like so, then have another catwalk, like that, and then maybe one more like that, put the stairs in, and there we go. We now got ourselves a way up to the cockpit, 
down to here we could throw in a medical bay if we wanted to do so like i said there's a nice lot of room on this ship for you to put a load of stuff inside so we could just go ahead and shove that in there and that'll be good we could then put some seats in there so get some nice chairs for you to have a little bit of a rest on so let's have a corner chair in there like so put a little planter i do love decorating by the way it's one of my favorite little things to do in this game there we go, we've got a lovely little room in here, we can respawn. We can, if we wanted to, put some assemblers somewhere inside here. Let's go and shove it. So we could just go and shove... Ooh, will this actually delete it? I can't remember if it will. Nope, that'll be fine. Then we can go and shove a assembler right here, just make sure it's all connected up. Boom, that's done. Then we have a small little refinery. Just a small one, we won't be able to fit a big one on here. We'll just go and put that tiny little basic refinery in here. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy. In fact, we could remove that block right there and just have that one sitting there. We can access that all now. And then we'll just connect it up later with some fancy connectors. But yeah, there's a lot of things you could do with this ship, which is quite nice. I do like it when some ships are left open and they allow you to design a few little bits and bobs. If you really want to go one further, you could get some air vents. I think there was an air vent in here, but I could have deleted it during my test. Yes, we could just shove one up there. And then we've got a nice lot of oxygen. Going one further, just to be sure, we could throw it in a reactor if you need to, because there's only batteries on here, and you don't really need anything. You don't really need a reactor on this. Those batteries will last a long time, because it's only when you're flying around are they going to get drained. But yeah, that is a little simple setup that you could do in this ship. Actually, before we go in the cockpit, let's take a little looky around. There is our gyroscope. We've got some cargo containers that go all the way around the room. If you wanted to, you could just go and connect these ones up with some conveyors. So we could go, get, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Just go and put them across. Like so, that'll do quite nicely. So then we're all nice and connected up. Then we can go and shove some ammunition in here. I've shoved a bunch of missiles because I am on survival mode currently. Then we could put some ammunition for the Gatling guns in here. They'll all pull that out. There is our O2H2 generators. They've got a bit of ice inside them. Yeah, it is a nice little ship to play around with. If I come over to here, because they're all connected up, we can go and replace that with another air vent. That should work fine. There we go. So we've got a lot of O2H2 generators. Make sure we don't suffocate if you were on guard duty. And there's not too much else to talk about inside here. Whoopsie, let's get rid of that before it goes clang. Yes, it's a nice little ship. I can see a lot of use coming out of this. But getting into the cockpit, we've got a singular option, which is to shoot our rockets. Now, it's quite hard to actually aim the camera with this thing, because it's quite a bulky design. And we can shoot rockets. And then, if we wanted to, we could come into here and find all the turrets. Like so. And tell them to shoot once. There we go. Then flying around. Yeah, so let's actually give it a proper little test. We're not going to be too fast, because like I said, it's more of a turret. And it is a ship. So going forwards. In fact, let me bring that sun somewhere good. That'll do. Yes, going forwards. This is our speed. It's not too slow, actually, considering how few thrusters are on here for the actual ship. It's a fairly decent speed. Oh, I did. Oh, God. I didn't see the station there. Sorry, station. See what damage we did. Not too much. We did destroy one of the turrets underneath, but never mind, eh? Going backwards, we should have the exact same sort of thrust, because we do have that connected there, and the doorway on the front. Going left and right should be a little bit faster, because they do have that extra thruster in the middle. So going left... There we are. We are much faster than going forwards and backwards. And then going down... And going up, we're still pretty okay. Now, the only real complaint I have is not being able to see what you're doing in first person. So if I came out of here and, say, walked all the way down to here, they found a camera. It could be a very good idea to find a place to put a camera. If you're not sure how to put this on, you could always do something like this, where we have one of these little flat blocks that sit like that. And then we can place our camera with this little line, like so. That could work like that. That shouldn't get damaged, because I think that should be good, like so. So we can get in here, find that camera, and then view the said camera. And there we go, we can now fly this from a first person view. So shooting the rockets into there. There we go, we can do a nice lot of destruction. 
And, oh, I almost forgot, wiggling my mouse around, we actually got a fair amount of control on this thing. So if you needed to tilt yourself in an emergency, you can do so. So if you're getting bombarded from one side, you can very quickly just turn around and blast. So what I'm going to do is give the red ship to the pirates, and then I'm going to see how well this thing can tear it apart. And then we'll test the armor of the orb against the rotor gun, which is sitting right over there. So over here, this should have a few guns on it. I shouldn't need to do too much to it. i just come over to this button panel, and then just give absolutely everything to the space pirates. They should engage with each other. There we go, the rockets are firing. The Gatling guns are going. And, oh no, it's actually shooting. Why is it shooting the blackjack? Oh god, I died. Oh dear. I completely forgot to put invincibility on. So what's going on? Oh yes, I respawned here on the little orby because I put the medical bay inside it. But we can just come over to here, turn ourselves around. Camera is gone at the front, unfortunately, but we can just keep going. Shoot the rockets into it. There we go. And we're just going to keep shooting it. I think some of the rocket launchers have been destroyed, or at least they were reloading right there. We can come around. Hopefully, hopefully that rocket turret will start shooting me and not the blackjack still, because I want to use that blackjack. And there we go. That should be okay. They should all be okay. So looking at the damage done on this, it looks like we've only lost one of the turrets there, one of the rocket turrets. And a few at the bottom, which I believe I actually did myself when I crashed into the station. As for the actual block damage itself, if I was to turn this around, get a better lighting on it, we seem to be quite well. There seems to be a lot of blocks between me and those missiles. So if I was just to very quickly double check what these are made out of, they are made out of light armoured blocks. So if I was to come all the way around to here, you can stop shooting at any point. They are heavily armoured blocks on the outside. I will just very quickly now that I remember to do that, just put invincibility on. And now it's time to stop them from shooting this because it's getting very noisy. I will test the little orby against the rotor gun. Let's just go over here and transfer this to me. This is now my friend and we're going to fly this in position. Actually no, we don't need to do that. We can just go and find the blackjack and just fly that over. It should be okay, I hope. Should be okay. That's still sort of attached, maybe. It might not be. But never mind. We only need one of them to be active. So flying this around, we should be able to... Oh, it is attached. Jolly good stuff. Can they still fire? Good. They can both still fire. We are a little bit on fire. So let's test this out. We're going to fire some rotor heads into the little orby. Let's see what we can do. Against some heavily armoured blocks. Let's just rapid fire this up. Now this thing is really, I don't think I actually showcase this good enough when I did that on the rotor gun, but those things are bloody deadly, aren't they? Just heavily armoured blocks, all of them gone. Bad example on my part, so sorry about that. Yeah, those rotors are deadly. They just tore through all those heavily armoured blocks in an instant. So we'll need to spawn in something else. Ooh, what else can we test? So what I got is a brand new little orby, and we're going to spawn in one more little ship to fight it. What is a very good ship? I don't know if I have block counts or on, but if I find this, this is always a good ship to fight. So we're going to be fighting this one over here, which is renowned for deploying its parachutes in an emergency. We're just going to turn it so it's facing its side and paste it in. Once this is in, we're going to give this to the pirate, and I think I made myself untargetable. Hopefully I did. There we go. That will stop me from getting bombarded in an instant. And we'll give this one a proper little fight because this has quite a few turrets on it. So finding this, everything is on here, giving it to the space pirates. They should hopefully open fire into each other. So there goes the orby. It might not... Oh, I was thinking it might not be within range. Oh no, I don't know what the problem is. It has no ammunition into it. How silly of me. Because I'm in survival mode, I actually need to come over to here and find ammunition. There we go. We just we need to put all the ammunition into this. Like that. And maybe even put in a few more rockets. But I think I'll just stick to the galling turrets like so. And there we go. We're going to start shooting. We are a little bit battered at the front there. But we should be able to just fly around and 
deal with this ship. It's a fantastic ship, actually, and I am wondering, because I'm very tempted now, just to ram myself into it. We took a few rockets there. We should be okay. Yes, we are. And I think it's time for the grand finale of ramming this into that ship over there. Unfortunately, the parachutes did not deploy. Very disappointing. Those turrets there are going to keep on the firing. And that should be good enough. If I come over to here and actually find it, just to stop it in time, that's that ship. We need to find the little orby. That's the one that should stop it. Take control and go forward. So we're just going to ram ourselves into this and see if we can plow straight through it. So here we go, 22 meters a second. We might need a bit more speed. Should have got a bit of a better run up, but this should be okay, I think. 40 meters a second with heavily armored blocks. Might get to 50. And there we go. We sort of bounced it off there. But we shouldn't have done too much damage to ourselves. No, we haven't. We just lost the turrets at the front, which is bloody good. So anyway, that's enough of me messing around with the little Orby. It'll be in the description below if you need to have a point defense station. I recommend you check this out because you could do quite a lot with it. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.